Hey y'all, it's Janine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to tell you all about the weekend that I had. <laughs> yesterday, as of, of course, as of the date I'm filming this, yesterday was my birthday and my husband and I took a trip down to Austin. Uh, I live in Dallas, so it's about, you know, a three, three and a half hour ride. Um, and we decided that we wanted to go and do some furniture shopping or some shopping in general for the new house. Sorry, that's that's my bird. That's Milkshake back there, my little love bird. <laughs> I apologize for his chirping. Um, so yeah, so uh, we wanted to see about maybe running across some vintage shops. And of course, there's a restoration hardware outlet down there by, um, it's, uh, it's in San Marcos. So it's about 30 minutes from Austin. So we went there, <laughs> we had a good old time for ourselves. Uh, and then we found some vintage shops, like kind of like a little market days, trade days kind of a thing on the way home yesterday. And I picked up a few things. As a matter of fact, everything I got is a vessel. <laughs> so if you're interested in this, keep on watching. I'm going to show you what I got. The first little thing I found is this little vase, bud vase. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you would call it. It's kind of... Um, ceramic -y kind of shiny texture, but it has some uh, speckling in it. Um, I loved the way the bottom is. It almost like looks like they poured uh, the texture on top of it um, and it's just a raw base. It has a little felt pad underneath right now, so I can't see if there's a maker's mark, um, but I just love the colors of it. I thought it was so, you know, adorable. It's kind of small, but I thought maybe on the kitchen counter or in a bathroom, I thought that that would just look really pretty. So I got that, it was $5. Can't beat that, right? The next thing I found is this about 70 year old, she told me, um, bean pot. Of course, everything needs to be washed, but uh, we're gonna do that. So she gave me some history on this piece, actually. She said it was a salt glaze and you can tell by the texturing and the little dimpling in the glaze, in the in the coating, I guess. And the fact that it doesn't have a raw bottom is means that they must have fired it upside down and that it, um, you know, wasn't fired with a kiln. So what they would do is they would light charcoal um, and then wait for the charcoal to get really hot. Then they would set it in there, um, cover it, and it, they would fire it that way. Um, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, she said that this is, like I said, it's a bean pot. So what they would do is they would uh, set this down in some charcoal, put the beans in, put a lid on it, which she didn't have the lid, but usually this lid would go uh, in the lip right here and um, cover it with dirt and let let the beans cook. So I just I just thought it was really pretty. I thought the texture was really cool looking. Um, it has this little ribbing in it too, in addition to the little dimpling from the salt glaze. Um, and then there's just the raw clay on top. So I will probably use this on my kitchen island. As you guys may or may not have seen um, in the house that we're building, the island is a white quartz and it's got some very uh, light veining. And then the back of the kitchen, you know, the surround where the stove and stuff is, is uh, black quartz. So I think this will tie the two um, surfaces in nicely together. So that was my second one. I It was 10 bucks. I, I said, I'll take it. <laughs> these next little things, I got these in a different um, little flea market thrift store kind of um, antique shop. And you know, I don't know what they are. I don't know where they came from. Um, they don't have any maker's mark on the bottom, but they're just a really pretty, like ceramic cement almost looking um, bowls. Bowls, crocs, uh, I'm not exactly sure what to call them, but they are each a little bit different, but very similar. Um, and I think they would go great together. So if I, I could put these in my bathroom with like some cotton swabs or, you know, something in them or um, just decorate on top of a bookshelf or I'd like for them to go together. I think they were, they were great together, but there's the color. I think the color was just so pretty, this like off-white creamy color. Um, again, they're both just a little bit different, but 
um, I think they kind of go together. So I got those, they were $15 each and they were 20% off. So good deal. Lastly, I got this ancient <laughs> ice bucket. Um, it says made in India. It is a brass and copper and it's, I love the rivets in it. Um, I love the little handle on it. Of course, I'm gonna have to clean it out. I'm, I love the patina on it. I love the pitting on it. Although I'm not sure how to clean the inside. So if anybody has any um, pointers on how to do that, um, I, I need, obviously I need to clean the inside, but I don't wanna really get rid of the, of the, te the character that it has. So uh, if anybody has any ideas about how to clean it um, on the inside, let me know. But I thought it was just so pretty and so different. And some of the an some of the um, accents that we're using in the house are uh, copper, so I think it'll go fantastic. We are uh, we have a game room upstairs, and we're building a little like stand up bar kind of in there. And um, I thought this would be really pretty to put on the bar. Now I just need some copper tongs, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> So that was it, that was my little birthday haul. I'm sorry I don't have any footage of the actual shopping trip uh, for you. I was just so caught up in the moment yesterday that I, um, I, I didn't film anything. <laughs> but that's my haul. Um, we did go by Restoration Hardware, uh, the outlet in, the, in San Marcos. And then yesterday we went to Fort Worth <laughs> and went to a second restoration hardware outlet. And I'll have to insert a picture here because um, obviously we haven't picked it up yet, but we did buy a sofa. We bought the Belgian classic uh, shelter arm in the sand color. It's so pretty. It's like a, a linen basket weave, um, very per, you know uh, pet friendly, kid friendly um, performance fabric, which I thought was really important. Um, we do have dogs, our kid is grown, but uh, we make a mess too. You know, I think everybody does. And uh, so we got that yesterday. Uh, we're going to be going to pick it up tomorrow. And uh, I am super excited. So I got a new sofa for my birthday. <laughs> That'll work, right? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what you think and how to clean that, that ice bucket. And um, I hope to talk to you all soon. Have a great day.